You know, researching in-fed antennas, one thing I keep running across is the 41-foot in-fed antenna. And um, they must work because you see a lot of them out there. And there are a lot of commercial uh, manufactured 41-foot in-fed antennas. For instance, there is the, uh, the bullet in-fed antenna uh, from Palomar Engineers. There's uh, the PAR in-fed uh, antenna, the EFT-102040 antenna uh, from, uh, from PAR Electronics. There's the uh, NI4L portable in-fed from those guys, which is a 41 footer. And also uh, QRP guys make the, um, the, the un, un antenna, which is, it, it says right there on their, uh, <laughs> on the kit, 41 foot. Uh, so there you go. That, that, it's kind of interesting. So you know what I said? You know, it's cool. I, I, and if you're, if you own one of these or, or you sell these, good for you. I, I'm not trying to discourage anyone from buying one of these antennas, but you know what? I think I can make one myself. That's what I'm going to do. Stick around. You know, one thing I find interesting about this antenna is its use of a counterpoise. And just about everyone that sells one recommends or sells with it a, a choke ballon with it. I know the, um, the Palomar in-fed uh, antenna, it, it actually shows you to put the choke about 16 feet or so away from the 9 to 1 un, -un uh, that, that's with it, or they may call it a, a, a match, but it's a 9 to 1. And, um, and they even admit that you're using the coax as part of the as the counterpoise, basically, to the antenna. Um, the uh, QRP guy's antenna, uh, on one side of it, it says 41 feet wire for the driven element, and if you drop down, it says a quarter wave counterpoise. And I'm assuming that's a quarter wave for 20 meters, maybe a 16-foot, 4-inch uh, counterpoise or, or something like that. You know, and when I've experimented with different length antennas, I've found that on a non-resident antenna, 17 feet, kind of works for me. So that's what I'm going to experiment with. So here's my setup. I'm going to have a 41 foot wire, horizontal wire, or as close to horizontal as I can get it. A 17 foot counterpoise. Uh, that'll go to my, um, I have a LDG 9 to 1 on un that I'll be using. Then a short, a real quick, short little, almost a jumper piece of coax over to my LDG 1 to 1 uh, choke and then down to a, a, an ATU and a transceiver. That's going to be the setup that I'm going to put together. And I want to experiment just how, how this 41-foot antenna that is obviously pretty popular, how it works for me. I'm going to give it a shot. Here's the setup. And here's the antenna. It's an insulator. And there is monofilament fishing line going down the top of that fence up there. And back up to the antenna. That's 41 feet of 22 gauge wire. That's what this is. Some wire I had here. Up to the window. And they're up at the window. If you zoom in here, is a 9 to 1 on un. It's going in. The coax is on the outside, going through the window, over the top of the window, down to a 1 to 1 choke. If you see it there, that's a uh, 17 foot counterpoise coming down over to the top of the roof. So there it is, my 41 foot in fed antenna. And here's the other side of the antenna a uh, short piece of coax down to my LDG 1 to 1 that I'm using for a choke. Another short piece of coax down. And this antenna definitely requires a tuner. I'm using the AT100 Pro 2 Auto Tuner from LDG. Um, the rig I have that I'll be using is uh, FX4CR 20 watts. We'll be doing 20 watts with that. And that's it. That's what I'm going to use to uh, see how well a 41 foot in fed antenna will work for me. Running an SDR sweep on this thing uh, from 40 to 10 meters, I noticed that 40 was kind of high, right around 2 to 1. Um, 20 and 10 meters were really good, uh, kind of ranging under uh, 1.5 to 1. Uh, 17, 15, and 12 were 
kind of high. I mean, they were look, uh, hovering around three to one, somewhere in that neighborhood. So, you know, I knew this thing would be great for 40, 20, and 10. Um, I was able to tune it on, on every band from 40 to 10. 40, uh, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10. I did make contacts across Europe with some pretty good signal reports on 40, 20, 17, and 15, actually. Um, nothing more than that. Uh, and that's probably more because of band conditions and not the antenna. Yeah, the uh, maximum usable frequency here, the MUF, has been just for almost, I've been here in Poland for almost a month. I'm in Poland. And the, uh, the muff here has rarely gone above 20 megahertz. So uh, it's been tough. So uh, yeah, I, I, was, I was making contacts on most bands. The band this thing really excelled in, or on, I should say, was a 20 meter band. On 20 meters, I was just making amazing contacts and, and really getting out. So I want to show you a couple of QSOs real quick. Um, one of them at full 20 watts of power, and the other one, QRP. This is another one. These are both on the 20 meter band. And, uh, and, and you can see for yourself the kind of signal report I was getting and how this antenna was working. Sierra Papa, Shock, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, QSL. QSL, QSL. Thank you, Anaki, for taking the call. We've worked several times for my home QTH in uh, the United States. I'm here for uh, six weeks working in Poland. It's so good to get you on the log here under the uh, Sierra Papa log there. Yeah, QSL, okay, uh, Walter, I think it's Walter. Yeah, uh, I can see the first contact because uh, I log you uh, as uh, Sierra Papa. So Sierra Papa, short, uh, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, got you now. Uh, way better. I was beaming east and you're, uh, I moved the antenna towards you, I think, let's see. Uh, I think it's uh, about 60 degrees, so way better now. So you're, you came up to a 5.7 now, 57. Uh, easy copy now. Uh, and uh, yeah, okay, I understand we, we had a couple of contacts where you're uh, at uh, your own KDH from in the US. So great to watch you from uh, from Poland, uh, my dear uh, Walter. SP stroke uh, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, and sorry for uh, forgiving you there a bit before. Uh, sorry, Voyage. Yeah, thank you so much here. I'm just uh, 20 watts and a wire out the window here, so it's so good to get a 5.7. You're 5.9, wonderful signal here into uh, near Gdansk. Yeah, QSL, okay. 20 watts and, and the wire, okay. So enjoy the radio there. Uh, CQ, CQ, CQ. Italy, Zulu 6, Bravo, X Day Victor, slash QRP. Italy, Zulu 6, Bravo, X Day Victor, slash QRP, CQ. Sierra Papa, stroke Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar slash QRP. Hey, Walt, how you doing? How you doing, Walt? Uh, uh, Kilo 4 Oscar Germany Oscar slash Sugar Papa, you're 5'9", Walt. Uh, great signal, over QSL, you're 5'9", plus 5. Wonderful here tonight in the north of Poland. Sounding great. Absolutely. Walt, one question. Are you with uh, the... Florida X-ray for Charlie Radio, are you running that equipment, over? Uh, QSL, QSL, right now I'm running it with 10 watts, uh, 10 watts with the uh, FX4CR. Amazing, you 10 over, 10 over, I'm running 10 whiskey, 10 whiskey this evening, I use the 590, 590, I reduce, I reduce the power to 10 whiskey. Well, there you have it, that's how the 41-foot in-fed Antenna worked for me. Uh, it was awesome. I, I think it's a pretty good antenna. Uh, would I recommend it? Yeah, I would recommend this antenna if you have a short or a small area in a back garden or backyard, as we call it in the United States. If you had it there and you were, um, you know, it, it, it's all you could fit in there and you wanted a horizontal type antenna or a sloper, having it sloping down. Um, I know a lot of people are going to compare this. Why don't you just put up an infed half wave? An infed half wave is a better antenna. Yeah, it probably is. I'm not going to argue with you that on that at all. I just wanted to, you know, to see what the San Antenna was all about. And I'm all about experimenting, so I figured I would experiment and give it a try. Anyway, I hope you uh, liked the video. If you did, uh, please like and subscribe. I like to play with wires and build different antennas. When I see one, I'm like, I want to try that out myself. And uh, that's what this channel is all about. And until next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO. 73, my friends.